Today, I'm going to talk about the journey of innovation. I'm going to speak in a language of common experience because I'm neither a scientist nor an innovator. I'm just a simple observer. Please put your hands in your pockets or purses and take out the one thing that most of us cannot do without. And what is that? Of course, the mobile phone. You have to understand that this smartphone of yours has more computing power and telecommunications technology than what was available during the time of Apollo mission, which landed man on the moon. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a classic example of what innovation means. Most of what we use, experience, or benefit from has evolved from seemingly simple ideas or inventions by a process of something that is innovation. Very often, those ideas were used in unrelated fields. For example, nuclear medicine that we use today owes its origin to the research done for the defense industry. We all know about World War II, Hiroshima, Nagasaki. The world of medicine would have looked very bleak if nuclear power had continued to stay within its destructive ambit. Today, can we imagine a world without MRI and CT scan machines? Innovations in medicine have changed the course of human life itself. It is estimated that a child born today will have great chances of living up to 100 years or more. That is the power of innovation. The word innovation seems to be in fashion in organization and campuses around the world. No annual report or speech by a leader is complete without its mention, making it seem as though it is a recent phenomenon. However, the truth is that mankind has been innovating throughout history. <clears throat> In order to survive, nature has equipped us, unlike other mammals, with a unique kind of brain. What sets humans apart from other animals is our larger cerebral cortex, which allows us to successfully use language, acquire complex skills, live in social groups, and above all, ideate and innovate. That is how mankind learned to make fire and develop early weapons like bows and arrows during the hunter-gatherer phase of our existence so that we could find our own food. Ever since the journey of the human race has been the story of ideation and innovation. The humble plow, the practice of irrigation, building of settlements and cities, medicine, education system, steam engine, electricity, printing, telephone, television, internet, you name it. Ideas and innovations have rolled on and on, bringing us to where we are today. Even though we may not realize it, innovations are happening every day all around us. What has only changed at which is the speed at which we are innovating. Virtually a year's innovation today is worth the innovation of a few centuries in earlier times. Imagine the impact on our lives. Friends, somebody living in the year 1000 and the year 1400, how different was their life? Not much. But somebody living in 1970 and in 2017, 
how different is their life. Don't we agree? When I used to tell my daughter that before she was born, there were mo no mobile phones, she wouldn't believe me. When I used to tell her that before I was born, there was no television, she wouldn't believe me. Now God knows what she is going to tell her children and what they are going to believe in. So basically, that is the speed of innovation and that is the impact with which our lives are changing. Now, one common misconception is that innovation is always about science and technology. Let me go through some examples which will disprove that belief. The favorite curry that your mother cooks is nothing but an innovation of your grandmother's curry. Essentially, what she has done is added or removed a few ingredients. The ever-changing fashion scene is also a result of innovation. So it's not always about science and technology. It is, even in common day life, there are innovations happening. What you have in front of me right now is also an innovation. We, are, we have all seen the innovations that have happened in the field of music, cinema, literature, and all other art forms. Some of the most respected artists in history were not only visionaries, but were innovators. An example of this is the novel Brushwork, developed by Leonardo da Vinci, which gave painters the means to create a hazy atmosphere on the canvas. Not only artists, lovers are great innovators too. In earlier times, they used to use pigeons to communicate. Nowadays, they use social media very innovatively to communicate. Innovation need not be an expensive thing to do necessarily in, you know, corporate R&D laboratories. India is known for its frugal innovation. For example, the Jaipur foot, which is an artificial limb, uh, developed at a cost of $50, has changed the life of millions of disabled people across the world. Many a times, innovations seem disruptive at first. But as the benefits become apparent, there is mass adaptation. Look at the financial services industry. 20 years ago, hardly were mutual funds known in this country. But today there are so many types of mutual funds. This is an innovation. And there is a mass adaptation. Another great example is e-commerce. It took time for e-commerce to flower, but it has changed the people shop. There is a new generation which has rarely gone to retail stores, they buy online. All this is also innovation. Sometimes there are fears about new ways of doing things. When computerization was adapted by the uh, banking industry, there were doubts and fears about job losses. However, it only helped in increasing speed and efficiency in banks. Today, similar fears are being expressed about artificial intelligence, what it will do to the banking industry, to production and everything. We all have to understand that a simple computer has more arithmetical ability than the human brain, but it has never put an accountant out of a job. The point I'm trying to make is that we all have to look at innovations as a force of change and embrace them wholeheartedly, since that has been the story of mankind. Innovations might seem like a hybrid idea at first look. While they may appear so, they do trickle down to the masses 
as has happened in the past, is happening at present and will surely happen in the future. Thank you.